Finley Oiler volleyball team playing in the NCAA Division III National Tournament. They beat Hillsdale in three last night to face GLIAC champs Ferris State this afternoon. Fortunately, Oilers fall in four to the host Bulldogs, while the NAIA National Semifinals, UNOH's women's soccer team, their season also comes to an end as they lose to Spring Arbor 1-0 this afternoon. Austin Scott joins us now at the Layfeld Welding Top 5 Plays of the Week. We begin this week's countdown on the lanes of 20th Century in Lima. Check out the unique delivery from Temple Christian's John Solomon. It may be different, but it still gets the job done as he picks up the strike. The Marion local defense wreaks havoc against Tenora at number four. John Knapshafer brings the heat and picks up the sack. The ball comes loose and Dylan Keller recovers in the end zone for the Flyers touchdown. The Fort Recovery Indians keep their playoff magic alive at number three. Following a McComb touchdown, Brandon Shane fields the kickoff at the 11, and he's got some great blocking ahead of him. At speedy, Shane 19 goes 89 yards for the Indians touchdown as they get past McComb. A pair of great catches by Aaron Harlemer take the runner-up spot this week. We've seen this so many times before. Jack Hemmelgarn to Harlemert, and he's able to get a foot down in the back of the end zone for the Cavaliers' touchdown. Later, it's more from Hemmelgarn and Harlemert. Harlemert climbs the ladder for this catch and gets the foot down again for the black and orange touchdown. This week's top spot goes to LCC's Dantez Walton at the Alida Tip-Off Classic. Trey Cobbs comes up with a steal. He tosses ahead to Walton in stride and he throws it down with two hands. He gets called for the technical after hanging on the rim, but it still counts as the first dunk on this school year's top five. Hopefully we'll see more slams and maybe a few state championship trophies in next week's edition of the Layfeld Welding Top 5 Plays. <laughs> 